What's going on guys, it's Jack Collects here, we're back with another Cinch Premiership Tops Chrome 21-22 season. I opened one of these on the channel a good few months ago. It was just when I was in, got brand new into the hobby, so I was completely unaware of the card inside. I hadn't looked at any checklists, it was just something I wanted to break into as my, my first product into the hobby. Over the past good few months, I've taken time to learn a lot more in terms of every set that's available, different variations in this set, like you can get the different uh, numbered cards and basically just taking my time to build up a personal collection. I thought we'd open one of these to, as a last kind of go at it due to the fact that there's been leaks that the new set will be coming out at the end of March which I'm really looking forward to. There's a lot of changes in it. I'm, I couldn't list them just now, but there is a lot of changes coming and I'm quite excited about that. So I thought we'd have one more go at this set and then we would get ready for the new season coming. I will show you, this is probably the, the latest pull we've had and the, the best card that we've pulled out of this set so far. This is a Yanis Hadji Future Stars. It is a one of one. We pulled this on a box break through another streamer. As you can see there, one of one. The card is in excellent condition and I'm very grateful to have a one of one. Hadji is one of the players that I admire the most and I'm just really glad to have picked this up. So I'll be setting this way for grading. And we did, in the same break, we did pull a, another Future Stars Hadji and it was out to 25, one off his shirt number. But yeah, this is the, the out of 25, the orange um, variant. So I thought we'll go ahead and crack this open and just see if we can pull anything. Now, as before, you do get one autograph per box. We're hoping the last couple we've pulled have been base cards anyway and nothing, nothing too major. So we're hoping to pull something a wee bit more exciting. Let's just get these cards out here. I've spent the last few months, I do have a TikTok which I'll link below, just opening things like match attacks and just pack openings that a lot of people seem to enjoy, um, so I will link that below. I do also have an Instagram that I'll link, and um, that's where I, I show off my personal collection, and yeah, just hopefully that we can pull something a wee bit more interesting here. The chances of getting a one, one of one in this particular box is very, very slim. But hopefully we can, can pull something not too bad. But yeah, let's get right into it. So, first pack. So we have a Joseph Hungboat. Scott Pittman. Calvin Ramsey Rookie. That's a player that's doing in Liverpool just now. And a Carol Starfield. Jay's Cabia. Marcus Fraser. Scott Wright. And Jason Cummings. generally get the, the kind of the better card or the variants of cards at the bottom of the pack so I'm trying to kind of hide that to give it a wee bit more suspense. That was Liam Shaw, Florent Hottie or Hoyt, Kumar Roof and the Scottish All-Stars Craig Gordon from Hearts. Every set shows you the, the variants that you can get below. I believe it's uh, blue is out of one, two, five. You have um, gold or well, yellow, which is out of 75, green, which is out of 50, and orange, which is out of 25, a red, which is out of 5, and a super fractor, which is one of one, which is like that Hadri card I showed before. I have uh, Harry Payton, Mark Reynolds, Craig Bryson, and uh, Rudy Scatchel. League of Legends of Hearts. So every box usually has, I believe it's is it four numbered cards and an autograph. Hopefully we can pull a, an autograph numbered variant, which would be a bit more exciting. That's 
Cameron Carter Vickers, Nicky Devlin, Craig Sibbald, Kyogo Furahashi. We have Carl Starfelt, Martin Boyle, Paul McMillan. Oh, and here we go. We have James McFadden, numbered auto out of 50. Or 35, sorry. I've got that wrong. So the greens are actually out of 35. I thought it was 50. So that's a bit better than just pulling a base auto um, for your Motherwell fans out there. And... Yep. Very nice. Move that to the side just now. So it's still got a couple of autos there. Yeah. Numbered card, sorry to come. Hopefully, we can pull something that makes it worthwhile. If you're a hashi, banning me, I can never get his name right. Rookie Nathan Patterson. And our second numbered card is a Jermaine Defoe out of 50. So that's where I've got that, that confused. That's actually his numbered card as well, so that's a nice pull. Obviously, it doesn't play with Rangers anymore, but as you can see at the bottom there, that's his 9 out of 50. Oh, that's good. I thought that was a wee mark there, but yep, that's very nice. 9 out of 50. That'll go straight into the personal collection. So, so far, it's, it's been pretty good, to be fair. Um, the fact that we've pulled two numbered cards and they're quite low uh, is great hits. Generally, you need to rely on case breaks. To get your your one of ones, your your out of fives, because you get I think it's twelve cases or twelve boxes in a case, which will make it more like your chances are getting higher. That's Jordan White, Liam Kelly, Scott Brown, and a Gold Machines Kevin Nisbet. Very nice. So I have a few packs left. I believe we're still looking for two more numbers. Oh, I can see one peeking out the back there. That's Yota. Ben Woodburn. Callum McGregor. And a out of 125 Fashion Sakala. Number 94. Very nice. I'll apologise in any of the, as I've said before, the bad edits, the, the cuts, even if the, the cards are out of view of the screen. Pretty amateur at this kind of stuff. Albion Ayeti. Craig Gordon. Paul McGinn. And a Leon King out of 75. That's number 18 out of 75. His rookie card as well. Very nice. Couple packs left. Keep this going. We have a Kane Willery. Liam Gordon. Ryan Porteous, Future Stars rookie. He's now away down south. And a Alex McLeish, League Legends, Aberdeen Refractor. Once the new set comes out, I'll be going deep into it with the, with the videos as well. Um, I like to, I'm going to try and get a good few cases to start with, uh, or boxes, sorry. Whether I get a full case, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. You know, it's, it's getting a hold of them wouldn't be too much of an issue, but it's more just the price. As I'm probably, I'm not flush with cash, but I would like to give it a good bash. Um, especially a lot of, as you can see, like almost every card is a rookie card due to the fact that a lot of these players have never been on them before. So you have a few Celtic players and a few Rangers players who have been on other sets, like Merlin, but you don't have the the, the majority of them. So I believe they're changing the, the variance in the numbered cards, which will be a big, um, a big change. So some of these cards might go up in value, but a lot of them, like, I mean, you can see, like, for example, guys like... Paul McMullen here, you know, he's not got major time left on his career and this is his first rookie, so you know, they'll, they'll be kind of there won't be as many of them back 
Declan Gallagher, Charlie Adam, another Leon King, and the future stars, David Turnbull. Right, we have four packs left, I think. We have Ismail Soro, Jason Cummings, Yanis Hadji, and Joe Newell. Refract up. Actually, might be four packs after this one. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. Never seen the player, don't know who he is, and no, I'm not going for it. Rookie anyway, Josh Ginnelly, Scott Allen, and Liam Kelly, Refractor. We have, oh god, that's another one, Nan Juliet, butchering these names. Jamie McGrath, that's another one, Vertanen, Tynan, and the Scottish All-Stars, Al McGregor, Refractor. Three packs left. And Alan Forrest, Eamon Brophy, John Lundstrom, and, oh, this is our, I believe this might be our last numbered card, I can't remember how many we've had now, but that's Stephen Welsh. That's out of 125, number 85 out of 125. Just moving some of these numbered cards here. I'm trying to keep the, the hits together so I can show them at the end. We have Kevin Van Veen, Kevin Nisbet, Nicky Clark. And a future stars, Karamoko Dembele, rookie. Okay, last pack. So, like I said before, I'm going to try and get as many of the as many of the the cases I can to start with. There will be more breaks on the channel. Right now, I'm just trying to build up a bit of a PC collection. I've got a few cards that I'm sending off to PSA, including the two Hadges that I showed I'm going to get them sent off there's a couple that I will be sending to MGC and I'll probably do a few videos on them just showing what's going to go and the turnaround time is pretty good for them as PSA is a couple of months so I'll probably be sending a lot of the, the personal collection that maybe not as high in value I'll probably send them to MGC and just make a few videos out of them uh, there is a couple of card shows coming up that I'm hoping to go to. Um, I might be going to the Yorkshire one, which is at the end of the month, I believe, or the start of April, sorry. Going down there just to, to meet a few people, interact. I have, you know, been interacting with quite a few other collectors, especially in Scotland, just trying to kind of learn the hobby. A lot of them have put me in touch with, like, a lot of other collectors, so it's, it's been working out quite well. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm really trying to build it up, but like I said, you know, it's just, it's, it's in terms of trying to kind of build up the, the cash flow for it. But, you know, we'll, we'll really go into it. Um, but here is the last pack. That's Fuch, Fuch. Shaughnessy. Reese Devine and a refractor, Connor Goldson, rookie. So, yeah, that is is the, the full thing there. I will show you. These are the, the major hits. So, we have a Leon King... Out of 75, we have Stephen Welsh out of 125, number 85. We have Jermaine Defoe out of 50, and it's his shirt number as well, which makes that a, an added bonus. And we have our James McFadden autograph. The autograph does look, does look good on there, it's pretty clean. Again, this is another one that Oh, it does look pretty cool. I'm just looking. That might be a print line there, actually. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. I think there's a wee print line there. I'm not entirely sure. But it might very well be. But that's out of 35. So it's better than 
have enough base autographs. I pulled a few of them and it's just not exciting at all. Unless you get a big player, your your Larsons, your Furuhashis. But that is the end of the video guys. Thanks very much for watching. I will be back soon with some more box breaks and in the meantime I'm on Instagram and TikTok. I will, as I said before, link it below. I post a lot of the, the TikTok shorts on here just to uh, beef up the channel a wee bit. So yeah, um, hopefully I'll, I'll see you all soon. Catch.